Hello. In this video I'm going to be talking about putting some Thule bars on my uh, 1997 Land Cruiser. So I currently have the factory rack up here, as you can see. Um, there's a couple reasons I want to replace this. One is these uh, boots here are rubbing away the paint and there's a little bit of rust here. Um, so I could protect against that, but I don't like the, this rack anyway. Um, another thing is I have a Thule um, cargo carrier and when it's on here, the back of it hits the rear spoiler. So what I've gotten here is the uh, Thule gutter high foot. It's a uh, 387 and um, I also have the, I think these are LB65 load bars here. So I'll uh, put this up on the car and you can see uh, the difference between this and the factory rack. And I'll, I'll put a link in the description um, to these items on Amazon and if you use that uh, link that I put there, it's my affiliate link and it helps me out a little bit and it kind of encourages me to make these videos. So. So this might be a little tricky to see. What I'll do is I'll center this up a little bit. So I have the uh, factory load bar, and this is the Thule load bar. So it sticks out, I don't know, what, about 10, 11 inches there on either side. So they're quite a bit wider. So one thing um, about these, I can, I uh, top kayaks also. So with these, I can use my stacker. I have a Yakima stacker here, and I can put that on the load bar um, you know, somewhere, and then you can stack one kayak on one side and then two on the other because you can technically stack four uh, kayaks if your load bars are wide enough. I only have three kayaks, so uh, today I only have three kayaks. Who knows what the future will hold? But so I've got the um, that there. So let's look at these uh, the foot, the high foot. It comes with four, obviously, here comes with a hardware bag. Let me open that. Okay, got that open. Also pulled the instructions out. And one reason I went with the Thule is I like the quality of their stuff. Um, you know, I have some other Thule things and uh, so that's what I went with. There's a lot of options here. If you wanted to do like a rooftop tent, you could do um, two sets of these. These are 165 pound capacity. Um, the factory... My daughter. Yeah, right here, uh, factory load bars are 100 pounds. So we're adding 65 pounds capacity to this. So, and when you're looking at kayaks, kayaks are, you know, weigh, say, you know, 40 to 60 pounds. Um, that allowed me to add, allow me to add another kayak to this. So I'm gonna read these instructions and I'll uh, come back in a second. Okay, so I just glanced through these instructions. Um, these aren't, I'm not going to go over every step in the instructions, but um, what you'll do is you uh, put the load bar in here. This does tilt for different angles. And then you assemble it. There's this uh, clamp here. Um, you run the bolt through the back side, through the clamp, and then you put a washer and the knob on. And this pivots here. And then on the car, it looks kind of like this. So these go on the rain gutter here. It clamps on, then you'll tighten this down. I don't have the uh, load bar in there. But I'll put the load bar in, and that'll clamp down on there and tighten. And then you can remove this plug here and put in a lock cylinder. So um, I don't have the lock cylinders right now for this. I'm going to order some that match my cargo carrier. You can go on Thule's website and order them. You just use the key code. So what I'll do now is I'll put the uh, load bars on and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've got the load bars installed here. This is from the front of the vehicle and I'll go over here and show you some details. So it's, it's good to have tape measure uh, so you can make sure everything's even. But from the foot here, to kind of the end is about 15 inches. B 
between the two load bars I did 34 and this is all arbitrary um, you know this is just what I did on top here we have it was right around nine inches to the end of the bar and the caps on there so it's kind of hard to see but this was this was a little less than nine I just made them even so and I positioned um, my factory rack was at the very front and rear so I positioned this a little bit before uh, towards the front of the car because like I say my rack was uh, too far back although really since they're up higher here um, I, maybe that that probably wouldn't hit so and then these I moved these forward so uh, next time I load my uh, roof rack or kayak I may adjust these um, you know forward or aft I don't know we'll see so and here I'll look at the height here here's the height boy this is gonna be kind of hard to measure but um, looks like the factory rack was about two inches to the bottom this is five so this is about six inches to the top let me uh, get the factory rack here So yeah, the factory was probably two and a quarter. And this is about five and a quarter. That's probably a better measurement. So, so they're quite a bit higher. So that's that. Um, I'm going to probably, this is kind of a rubberized kind of grippy coating. I'm gonna probably put some 303 protectant on there. I'll put a link in the description to that too. Uh, and on any of these plastic pieces, these knobs and such, um, just to help protect it from UV. And then uh, I'll eventually take my factory rack off. These here, if I remember correctly, are five millimeter um, bolts, the thread. So if I take these out, um, the holes will still be there. I'll probably get like a five millimeter round headed screw and then uh, maybe like a rubber gasket to seal them somehow. I haven't fig quite figured that out yet. So. But if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. Um, if you haven't already, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.